So the Law Society and Bar Association noted several times that RST, if it was amenable to Hong Kong jurisdiction, would not meet high standards of fairness and would most likely be declared lawful. The Prabhaka and FB judgments noted that asylum determinations demand great fairness because mistaken refusals will jeopardize life and limb. These are the main issues with RST. Most interviews are conducted without lawyers. One of our clients here had 15 interviews in two years. Lack of judicial scrutiny and judicial review, no independent board of appeal, no video recording safeguards or transcripts. If present, lawyers may take notes but can't speak. Interpretation is frequently criticized, sometimes unavailable. Interviews may be years apart or change even six officers in 24 months. An acceptable length of time for both interviews and decisions. Further, procedural fairness is lacking. A disproportionate percentage of refugees are Somali, yet some are recognized based on geographical origin. Others must prove persecution, and a few are rejected for living abroad. Togolese are never accepted, despite a 42-year father-son dictatorship. The same with Cameroonians, we observe. Certificates from other UNHCR offices and UNRWA take months or years to validate. Clear-cut interview categories may not correspond to reality. COI is interpreted in light of developed states' perspective. Interviews are conducted without presumption of innocence. Interviews demand a heavy burden of proof.